attention. I mean, here's a question I have for you, Atari. Do you have any baby? Babies, that's what I want you to stop doing. You want to lay up in a white man's community and not clean up? Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. White man got to do with Close this. Close your legs. Not to do with and this. don't give him any more. Close your legs. Uh, with, with his one person, and he let the hood run rapid because he's scared of Pookie and Ray Ray gangs and stuff like that. I'm not afraid of Pookie and Ray Ray's, Ray's gang. What you should be afraid of is Pookie and Ray Ray giving diseases and babies to you. That's what you should be afraid of. There's no use in me even so much as starting off with the peace greeting this time. Uh, it'll be completely useless, and it'll probably be hypocritical because, you know, some people bring smoke. I am the fire from which cometh the smoke especially on a morning like this. I want to give a shout out to Obsidian, Attorney Sperling, Tito, Reverend Edward Allen Anderson, uh, Don Calypso, and to NBA Fan for um, bringing my attention to where that portion began. What you all heard, gentlemen, was a high Bristol maniac hyena. Atari, I don't know you very well, but I listened to more than what you all just heard from me. And I'm still in the process of listening. And even before I finish, I could tell you this is bad enough. Because you already admitted that when you were 28, you had that, uh, excuse me, I don't know how old you are now, but goodness gracious. At what point were you going to outgrow this and you're still trying to defend it? Mm -hmm, Y'all just mad because they get it for free and you got to pay. Well, I mean, that's an, and it's actually a legitimate reason to be mad if women are lying about it. And that's what a lot of women have done. The deception is, as I've said, that's the reason why a lot of men are really ticked off. The frustration mostly comes from the damn lying and the mixed messages. Um, but Atari, let's be honest. I can see through your game. What you want is men that are on their way to the grave or the penitentiary because being locked away or being buried in a grave is a perfect excuse to go and ride the next dingling. You like men you can recycle, which they also pointed out in this. You like men you can kick out when you're done. You can, you, <coughs> you have to have something to hold over the head. <coughs> But the way that you try to tell them and try to hide it, <laughs> that was classic. I beg to differ. Beg to differ means I disagree. No, no, no. You mean you beg to defer or you beg to not have to answer the question, which you eventually answered anyway. You ever had a hood dude? Yeah, you had. Because you later said you had him at 28. So that tells us you're illiterate. I think they call it aricologia or acerologia when you use the wrong words outside of their meanings that you intend. And you probably think a hostage is something you order for breakfast, right alongside your eggs. Yeah. That's the type of, that's what you remind me of, with somebody else's hair on your head. Ma'am, the way that you were trying to um, talk down to them, well, really, Mumia had every right to mute your microphone. You shouldn't have been allowed to speak. Not about that. You're just not grown enough for that. You really want to know the truth. The way you kept trying to overtalk them when you were not muted and tell them that they just scared, they just mad, you're always trying to diminutize valid points, has a particular sound on my computer. And I'm going to translate that sound so that others can hear uh, what I hear through my computer when women like you get to talking. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's what you made yourself sound like. I don't view you as an ape, Atari. You view yourself as one. This is that Tarzan movie propaganda that I um, haven't really seen on TV like that since I was a kid. I don't know how old you are, but if you're in my age group, sound about middle 40s, then you probably saw 
Tarzan movies. I mean, not even cartoons, but movies, Saturday afternoons during the school year and most afternoons during um, the summers. I remember they used to come on. I'm telling you, ma'am, you're going to have to, at some point, address the fact that you watched these movies and you believed or you got yourself image from someone else that watched them and believed it, which makes it even worse because it means you got the propaganda done on your own subconscious mind and indirectly at that. You can change, but we're not going to wait for it. You wanted Dennis to sit up and give you a schedule of uh, the educated black man's plan to eliminate the idness from the hood. You think he's bad, Atari? Let me tell you what I want to see happen. Then you'll understand why it was so great for you all that I left. See, what I would like to see happen is don't even wait till they get to be in their 20s. Shuck that fit start in seventh grade. If a boy's got pubic hairs or underarm hairs in seventh grade and he bullies another student, I don't mean verbally, but physically. And a student he bullies is smaller than him. Unless that smaller student beats the brakes off that boy in the encounter, take that boy outside and decapitate him. He doesn't go home that day. Then, when you, because I don't, I'm talking about line them up in the street and shoot them. No, 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 no. No. Tie them up and then decapitate them. Then, read the names of the executed over the school's loudspeaker. And any girl that starts to cry at the mention of one of those names, take her out and do the same unless, of course, she has not entered puberty. I don't want to take out kids, but adolescents, why the F not? They know right from wrong the same as an adult does. They just don't care sometimes. Get rid of them early. As a matter of fact, morally speaking, they are adults. You think that he's bad? Uh-uh, you ain't seen bad yet. Because I wouldn't stop at them. Up to me, I would treat your standpoint the same as insulting a prophet is treated in places where I live. That's a death penalty. Repentance is not accepted for that. If you insult God, you can repent and you um, could really repent and, and live, but you insult the prophet, it's death. You can repent and still die. And the penalty would be similar. And if you start arguing at the time that we're taking you and carrying you out for the penalty, we beat you, then decapitate you. That's what I would have done. And you thought Dennis was bad. You are the Ku Klux Klan inside of our population. Right along with the ones that you want to uphold. Dennis wants his kids to be safe. I want mine to be safe. It may have been too late for one of them already, unfortunately. See, when these idness do damage as adults or as adolescents, the damage is permanent. It cannot be undone. They cause better kids to miss days of school, develop stomach ulcers at a young age. They don't deserve to live. They don't need to hit 18 to become that bad. I've taught them, I know. You just wanna sit up here and uphold the absolute worst that they've got to offer. You are barely human. If you really wanna know the truth. So that being said, 
This is why I, I say at the end almost all the time, black heart, black mind, black out, black heterosexual, non idness male power because they don't like it. And black patriarchy until extinction of judgment day. If you ever start removing these idness dudes, decapitate these hyena bitches with them. <laughs>